This video is sponsored by Ritual. Here we go. I've been waiting to do this video for the longest time. I've been so ready to purge my wardrobe, refresh everything for autumn and winter, get rid of as much as I possibly can. Obviously my wardrobe is pretty full. There's so much crap on the floor. I just need like a refresh for autumn and winter. I'm gonna be going through all the clothes here, all the clothes I have in storage. And when I say storage, I mean my garden shed. I just have bags of stuff in my garden shed. How bad is that? How bad is that? I also have loads of stuff at my mom's house that I need to go through. I basically want the stuff at my mom's room to be things that I'm just not gonna throw away, like clothes that have memories attached to them that I generally do wanna keep forever. And summer things I just don't need to have here where I live at my dad's house. And then obviously here is gonna be all of my everyday things. But we're gonna go through everything. And I'm so excited to say that you will have the chance to shop all of these pieces that I'm giving away because I'm doing another pop-up. Yeah! The last pop-up I did was in July with Ruby and Vivian and we're recreating it again in November on the, let me get this right, the 10th to the 12th of November, all the information will be on screen. In East London once again in a new pop-up space and then we're bringing along outsourced clothing, aka Sharin, to sell with us as well. It's gonna be so fun, I feel like we're just gonna level it up and I'm gonna bring way more stock. All the planning is underway and hopefully I can see you there. I'm gonna do stuff on Instagram about it as well on stories. I'll also mention it on like the comments of all of my videos up until the point just in case you forget but you can put in your calendars if you're going to be in London during those dates and hopefully I will see you there and you can get shopping for your new autumn and winter wardrobe. Obviously there's the pole in the middle and some of my things are too long to go on the top that, like this, like they drape and it causes issues. So it was basically just shorter things, longer things. Then I was having a really hard time getting ready for dinners and birthdays, going out, out. So I started to put all of like the dressy things like here so I could just grab them really easily. And that got me thinking, I'm gonna change this and do everything color coded. And I feel like changing it up, even if it feels a bit more time consuming getting changed, would just inspire me to. To pair different things with each other that I wouldn't normally pair. today's video I want to thank Ritual for sponsoring. The change in seasons is the perfect time to reset, declutter and build new healthier habits and that's exactly what I've been doing not just with my physical space like decluttering my wardrobe but also with building new healthier routines which is why I love Ritual and Ritual have recently launched their essential protein daily shakes to support maintenance of lean muscle mass and to promote healthy active aging for everyone not just athletes. The essential protein daily shake 18 plus contains all the nine essential amino acids providing a complete amino acid profile helping to build lean muscle mass satisfy appetite and build bone health and I've been using their essential protein daily shake for about five days now and I've been absolutely loving it it's so easy to implement into a routine ritual recommend that you add one scoop to roughly 300 milliliters of any cold liquid and as I have mine in the sweet vanilla flavor I like to add it to smoothies and I was really intrigued to see if the sweet vanilla flavor would over power my smoothies and take away from the regular taste but honestly I much prefer it with the vanilla flavor now. The taste is sweet but it's not artificial tasting at all as it's handcrafted using direct from farmer vanilla bean extract that's sustainably harvest in Madagascar. I could definitely taste the subtle sweetness of the vanilla when I drink it but it doesn't overpower the smoothie at all. The supply chain for the essential protein is also fully traceable which I really love and like all ritual products essential protein is soy free gluten-free, vegan-friendly, and formulated with the non-GMO ingredients. It also has no added sugar, which I personally really like, and it's really important for me because of my skin. I love how easy it is to incorporate Ritual into my lifestyle. And if you're interested, you can get an amazing 30% off using the link on screen, which is ritual.com slash suzylola30 and use the code suzylola30 at checkout. Or you can also scan the QR code. Thank you so much to Ritual again for sponsoring. Okay, I'm literally gonna go through pieces one by one and that's how we're gonna do this. 
I'm obviously keeping this. I think I'm gonna do light to dark. I never wear her, but I know she's so great. See, this is my issue. I'm like, one day an outfit will call for a slim fitting white and red Puma 90 zip up, but this is gonna be bad. I need to get rid of a zip up. I have too many. Maybe we do a maybe pile. Sadly, she is too long. Like you would think that this massive rail would be able to fit one of my coats, but no, sadly not. Same with this, she's huge, but I think until I find another navy or black trench that has elements like this, I'm gonna keep her for now. I don't wanna get rid of too much for the sake of it, thinking I can get better because I don't wanna find better for now. So I'm gonna keep it for now, but I probably will get rid of this. Ah! That was criminal. He... Oh my gosh, we have zip up gay. Like this is so unique. Now I'm keeping her. Can you imagine if I actually got rid of these? No. Obviously I'm keeping this. This is a summer piece, but it's the type of thing I still want to style in autumn. Obviously keeping you. I've been hunting after this piece for a really long time and I finally found it on that European thrift haul when I was sourcing for a brand I used to work at. The joy I felt when I found it was incredible. It's too big on me. It doesn't, it drowns me out. I always go to put it on and it's just never what I thought it would have been. And I think because of that, I probably should sell it. It's gold Adidas jacket. What is the point in having stuff? Yeah, you might love it and it's like a unique piece that you want to keep hold of because of that book. What is the point of having it if you never wear it? Right, I need to start the cell pile. I never wear this. I never wear this. It's because it washes me out too much. I think I'm just too pale for this jacket. But the fit is incredible, so I think I should sell it. I think I need to just be brutal. I forgot the other day I decided I want to sell this. But do I? No, I'm gonna do that thing where I keep hold of it until I get something that's better. I love everything about it. It's just so perfect, minus the color. Again, it washes me out. When I wear it, I do just look like a pale ghost. I literally look like a piece of butter. Not even, a piece of white bread. I look like a piece of white bread when I wear this. I don't wanna sell this. I find it hard to style this for a lot of obvious reasons, but it's so unique, it's so unique. I'm gonna keep this. Oh gosh, here's the one that I wanted to get rid of. You guys know this one. Every time I wear it online, people are always obsessed with it and are like, I've been trying to find that jacket for months and I never can, so because of that, I kinda wanna keep it. I'm definitely a bit swayed by if other people gas up an item, I wanna keep it. Oh, this is sad because the zip broke and I do need to get it fixed. I do, I do. I actually do have a alterations pile in my room, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna add this to that. Yeah, this is going. I, I haven't worn this once since I got it. It's really, really cool, and I just think someone else needs to actually wear it. Oh, you know what? I was gonna put it in a haul, but I feel like, because I'm selling it, it won't even be in the haul. Do you remember that I got this exact jacket months ago when I did, like, the vintage shopping for me? I think it was then, and it was way too small for me. Randomly on vintage, a few weeks ago, I found the exact same one in a few sizes bigger, and I was like, this is perfect. This is exactly what I've been waiting for, and I sold the smaller one at my last pop up and the sweetest girl Amelia bought it. Amelia if you're watching this, hey. Wait, why does it kind of look good? I kind of love it. I've never seen it. It's kind of like giving army bomber. It's giving a bit almost like Fred Perry to me minus the stripes obviously like the way that this is sort of sitting. It's almost like a Harrington jacket. There's just a lot going on and I love it but I just never wear it. Do I keep it? No. No, we're getting rid of it. Someone, someone is gonna snag this up at the pop-up and they're gonna have the best day of their life so She's gone. I think I want to keep this. No, I do really like this. I kind of want to keep this. This I need to DIY and I still haven't DIY'd it. Well, I'm not going to do it today, so it's just going on the rack. I'm getting rid of this. I just want to get rid of things that aren't perfect. Like, I can find a long sleeve leotard so easily, but certain vintage stuff is harder. Like, but something like that, it's so easy to find it in like a better version. This is going, I already decided that the other day. I think I might sell this. I want a refresh. I want a complete refresh. Dang, dang. You know what's running through my head? You're staying, you're staying, you're gone. You're staying, you're staying, you're gone. Sorry. The way, the way I barely wear this. But the way, I love it, I love it. Red Devils, you know? Oh, uh, that was cringe. Um, <laughs> like, I love this. There was a time when I first got it and I loved it and I was wearing it a lot, but I just don't wear it. I'd rather try and sell it if no one buys it, maybe take it as a sign and bring it back to my wardrobe, but if someone buys it, it's like, I'm not gonna cry about it. Oh, 
I'm like, you actually think I'm ever gonna get rid of this? Do I wear how much? No! And it's like plastic. Carl! This I've never worn. So she's going, another thing to sell. I'm selling this. This is my biggest regret of the summer. I spent 60 euros on this. That's not, we're not even gonna talk about it. This is going, another Carhartt thing from my Carhartt era. Oh, I love this, but I don't know. I'm gonna try on. Keep. Keep. This one, it's stunning, but I think I'm too pale for it. You know what, if it sells, it wasn't meant to be. It doesn't sell, I'm definitely keeping it for a few more years. I'm really tempted to sell my 1X Blue anime trousers. Maybe, just going in the maybe. Keep, keep, keep. Do you know how many pairs of Peachy and Mimi's I have? And the way that I wear all of them probably nearly every day, these, way harder to style. I'm gonna sell them. Because I've seen this and I know I'm keeping it, this is the same color, it's just different. Sell. I don't want to get rid of this because like the way this fills me with joy but I already have another khaki so she's going. This is a great skirt though, a great skirt. This I know I'm getting rid of since I got my other camo skirt that I just prefer so I'm getting rid of that. Wow, why does this feel so much empty already? Well I guess a lot has gone but wow, it looks empty. I am now tackling my drawers. I'm gonna start at the bottom. You know something I read that you shouldn't put knits on hangers because it stretches them and makes them longer? Which is a shame because I don't want them here. I need to sell that. I need to bin that. Should you not hang knits? But they get all creased. I don't know whose that is. That is not mine. This drawer's bursting. These are actually way too big for me. Like who am I kidding with these? Sell. jumpers to one that I care less about in terms of there could be cobwebs in the um, shed and I'm scared if I get cobwebs on my new jumper. Anyway, we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna go to the shed. We're gonna bring everything out. The spiders are god I'm freaking out. Um, I couldn't even tell you what's in this box. And then I, when I felt like it was already open in the shed because the bag broke, I could like see the first few things and I was like, I forgot I owned these. <laughs> That's not good, is it? I'm gonna sell. Oh yeah, I was looking for that the other day. Oh my gosh, it's got all of my winter things. I have literally been wanting to bring out my Uggs a week, because now it's literally autumn. Not even autumn, literally autumn. Them, and then my other winter shoes are my snow boots. These are from North Face. I have the same in white, which I'm gonna sell at the pop-up because I don't need two pairs. Mm, girl, giving to a friend. My other winter shoes, my North Face slippers. Mm. I love this. It's too big on me, like that's not a lie. But I think my boyfriend would look good in it. I kind of want to keep it and see what he says in it. Is that the first time I say I have a boyfriend? I have a boyfriend. <laughs> anyway, my racer puffer. The, my Jackie fur coat. Big fur. <gasps> this hat. <laughs> no, I kind of like that key. Look at this mess! I'm gonna put everything away. like just under two hours until I need to do other things tonight so I don't have long to kind of get this show on the road look at the state of my room there's just things everywhere it's like organized chaos basically we're now gonna tackle accessories and then shoes I decided this it's over some moments I will want to have worn this bag but it reminds me of uni days I need to get rid of it I think I want to get rid of this it was my go-to for a while for winter but now I have my go-to bag and someone else needs to enjoy her she's so good she's so good for evenings oh I actually love this bag do I like want her oh you know what I might sell her she's such a good bag but is my 
it's, it's done. I'm being a new person. I'm getting rid of my closet essentials. Do you know what I mean? This is actually, I'm so proud of myself. The amount of times I just can't get rid of things. I'm so proud of myself. Beanie, yes. Beanie, yes. Keep. Sainsbury's bag. Keep. The only clutch I own, it's my mum's. It's so Carrie Bradshaw and I love this. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sell it. Will I regret this? No, I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell these. I love them. They just hurt my feet. I think my feet are too bony or they're too small. Like something's up with them. I never have fun when I wear them. I never wear these, it's so sad. It's one of those things that if they don't sell, I'm keeping them. I think I should sell these. And I can't have this many shoes, it's just not needed. So sadly they're going. Oh, I love these so much. They just crumble because they're vintage. If they didn't crumble, I would be keeping them. But I think I should sell them for a really cheap price and someone might even be able to get glue on them. Who knows? I'm going to put on some YouTube that's like half an hour and be like, by the time this video ends, this room's going to be immaculate. Will it happen? Who knows? Yes, then I'm going to try and close. <laughs> The last part of this video, going to my mum's, going through all the crap there, and bringing back all the crap that I want to put there. I think I'm going with one of the big bread bags. It's literally full to the brim, to the point where I can't shut it, but I'll deal with that. And a suitcase of like bikinis. That was the vibe. And then I'm going to bring everything back in the suitcase. So I'm going to head there now. First time I get to wear my winter Uggs after finding them. My winter Uggs. My Uggs. I'm hot, I, I just could not sleep last night. I'm exhausted. I'm waking up early and I was sitting in bed for way too long. And I kind of forgot why I set the alarm early. And then I remembered because I saw somebody doing a TikTok where she had something that I have the same of and it's at my mom's. I was like, Shit, can't wait to get that skirt back. And then I was like, you're meant to be there in 10 minutes, babe. Get out of bed. Anyway, and I'm going to be filming on my GoPro. I feel like it's just easier to do this than to bring the whole tripod and big fat camera when I've already got a lot of crap to deal with. Also, I'm wearing my new glasses from Jimmy Fairley. I'm trying to like wear them in. Can you do some glasses? I guess. I'm trying to like get used to them and wear them more often. This is my outfit. Pure comfy with the Uggs. And I'm going to bring a little hoodie and I need to go get everything together and get out of here. Oh my gosh. The way I'm so out of breath. Okay, this is everything we're working with. There's also a bunch of shit down there. It's so basically with me, back with me, I need to be bringing charity shop stuff to sell and stuff to keep. Only thing that should be left here is summer stuff to keep or like sentimental things to keep. This, I'm so undecided about this. Maybe it's the color because I think I have this like pale complex when I wear light colors. I'm getting my hair done soon. I'm tempted to keep it until then. And then if not, I can sell it at the pop-up because it's just gorgeous. I love this jacket. You're coming home with me. Keep, but I'm keeping it here. Keep, but I'm keeping it here. I'm gonna give that to a friend. Oh, I'm selling this. I decided that. I've never worn this. The color just does not look good on me. Sell. Oh, I love this. You know what? My boyfriend actually might look so sexy in this. So I'm actually gonna see. Oh my gosh, this. Yeah. Keep. I love this turtleneck. Every winter she comes out. These are incredible, but they're too big on me. I'm selling them. Whoever picks them up at the pop-up is gonna be one lucky man or woman actually i'm gonna let my boyfriend try these on because he might want them sell sell keep keep oh my gosh i literally stained this with chocolate ice cream and i'll never forgive myself but i might try and sell it for discount price <laughs> oh it is kind of cute though no i'm gonna keep it love love oh love guys the only thing from brandy melville that stood the test of time in my wardrobe when i used to work at brandy years ago this was like my ride or die piece i literally have deodorant stains that's disgusting but it's the best fitting baby tea and i've not been able to throw away sell oh loki sell it's now 12 i've been here way longer than i thought i was gonna be here that's just took a while to be honest but let's go back to the before this is now the after like that's insane there's stuff down there but it's already organized i went through everything in there as well that was clothes related in there is pretty much everything i'm keeping i'm gonna wash some things and see if stains come out and then maybe sell it 
that's everything that i'm either selling or giving to friends that is fabric donation i'm gonna walk that i've really cba but i want to get my uber home because <laughs> this stuff is so heavy and i just don't want to do anything but that's a big fat charity shop pile and i just feel like i should just do it shouldn't i i don't want to do it but i know i should so I'm gonna go do that. Also, I changed out all of the hangers so they're now all in like a way more... What's the word? They just look better. And these shitty wire ones are all now gone and I can recycle these. And I'm also really hungry now, it's 12. I'm thinking I could go grab a smoothie after I've done the charity shop and the fabric place as my reward and then get home and make actual lunch. Thank you so much. So it may not actually look like it, but I promise I got rid of loads of stuff. Here's the box of stuff to sell at the pop-up. It's no longer a box. It's overflowing. It's now just becoming bags and bags of stuff. I have so many pieces that I've gone through to sell. And I'm so excited for the pop-up even more now, just knowing I've got so much stock to last like the entire weekend. So hopefully I'll see you down there the 10th to the 12th of November. My drawers are also really empty compared to what they were before. I feel like they're way more organized now. So I'm really happy with that space. I've also added this, which I don't know if it's a bit weird. I basically have so many good squish scrunchies and I had to order, I had to order two more recently because I had credit. If you watch my small brands haul, you'll know why. And then they sent me this extra pink one as like a thank you for always buying so many good squishes. So here we have this little thing that I made where they're all like on different types of ribbon and I'm not obsessed with the way that it looks. I think in my head it was gonna look a little bit less cluttered and chaotic and I think maybe it's a bit random, but I don't know where else to put them. I think it would be cool to do more of like a scrunchy garland somewhere in my room, but I don't know where I would do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun doing this video. It was so therapeutic and needed and hopefully it gives you the inspo to also declutter your space and get rid of stuff for this new season. Don't forget to come to my pop-up and check out Ritual in the description of this video subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on my social media i will see you in my next video thanks again to ritual for sponsoring today's video you can head to ritual.com slash suzyloader30 and use code suzyloader30 at checkout to get an amazing 30 percent off your first month or scan the qr code on screen <laughs>